Hello, my friends. Okay, a few days have passed to give me some perspective on just an awful morning I spent with my son that turned into an awful day because I got into a full-blown fight with him and then I sent him off to summer camp and then I spent the rest of the day just stewing and replaying what happened and questioning and doubting and wanting answers. So let me explain what happened as much as I can. You know I'm very honest with you, but there's some things that I do think should be kept private. I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus. I wish it would have been me that did this accident that allowed this to happen, that uh, caused this. I have to acknowledge that my son is five, okay? There was a pill left on the counter that was going to be taken or given to someone and my son took it and I didn't know what he did with it and after it became apparent that the pill was missing I asked my son hey what happened to this pill I don't think he knew he wasn't supposed to take it I don't think he knew it wasn't his because it was next to these gummies that my kids take every day. Let me fast forward really quickly and let you know that the pill that he took was for somebody else. It was a temporary pill. This other person that lives in our house has to take. I spoke to his doctor. Nothing bad will happen happened in him taking this pill, okay? It's almost not even about the pill. What really set me off was after the pill disappeared and it was apparent that my son hid it or took it, I asked him, hey, what happened to the pill? And he did something that he's never done before. He didn't even answer. He's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like, he would not answer. And I tried so many different techniques. At first I was calm, I was like, please just tell me what happened to the pill. Like, I need to know, you know, explaining to him it wasn't his, and that if he took it, like, I need to know if he took it, and he just would not tell me. I tried for a good solid five minutes of being cool, calm, collected dad, and he would not tell me. And then I tried different tactics. I sent him to his room. I tried to threaten him. I was like, I'm going to get rid of a toy. I'm going to break a toy. I was getting madder and madder. I'm going to uh, throw away your moo moo, as he calls it. Moo moo uh, is moo the cow. He has three little plushy toys that he sleeps with every night. I got so heated because he would not tell me what he did with the pill that I took one of his moo-moos and I threw it in the garbage, thinking that that would cause him to break. No, he still wouldn't tell me. He's like, I, I don't know. So then I was like, tell me now or I'm gonna take this garbage and I'm gonna throw it out in the street. And he would not tell me. And then I took the damn garbage, I went and I freaking threw it out. And he still wouldn't tell me. And now I am getting super Latino, like 110% Cuban and angry and like, ah, God, where is it? Now I don't hit my kids, but I do like them to fear me when I get really mad. So I tried every different technique without hitting him to let him know that he messed up in such a royal fashion. I would do this, I was like, tell me, me speaking to him, tell me, what you did with the raw? I would hold on to his wrists and like, tell me what you did with it. He would not tell me. I was like screaming my head off. And that is so unlike me. And I'm so thankful I'm laughing now because this whole day, earlier in the week, I, oh, I was a mess. 
So I sent him off to summer camp and he refused to tell me and I felt like such a parenting failure. Like, he was testing me and I failed the test and I kept telling him it's not even about the pill, it's that you need to tell me. Like, in the future, if you mess up somehow, please tell me, please. So finally, he comes home from school. We have a heart to heart and he does confess that he took the pill that he wasn't supposed to take. Well, I definitely needed him to know the repercussions of his actions. I didn't end up throwing away the plushy toy because I just couldn't. But I still have them and I'm gonna keep them for another solid week. And that day he spent three hours in his room, maybe not three, that's exaggerating, but over two hours, between two to two and a half hours in his room in timeout. And I made sure to go out with his sisters to play with them outside so that he could hear us having fun while he was locked in his room. I mean, I'm still trying to learn from the incident because I was trying different techniques. I was trying cool, I was trying threatening i was trying to explain i was trying i was trying so hard i was screaming my head off uh so yeah it's so fascinating because it's fascinating how kids go through cycles and change mia who for a long time was being my problem one has been cool as a cucumber lately in fact she is an angel like she will share with no problem. Her brother's the one that's also now like giving me major issues with sharing. She is sharing. She is learning. She is growing. She, the, her new thing is, which I'm not like discouraging, but I'm not really encouraging either. Mia keeps asking me, how do you say this in English? How do you say that in English? Uh, like, um, she said, and actually some, sometimes she's just saying the English thing, and I'm like, Mia, we only speak Spanish at home. Like this morning, she was having applesauce, and she said applesauce, and I'm like, Mia, no. Como se dice en español? How do you say that in Spanish? And she had to think about it. Pure de manzana, o salsa de manzana, if you wanted to, know, to learn how to, how to say it. But yeah, she's been great and that's awesome. <sighs> Mike has been great. I posted a photo earlier in the week. She can now lift herself, which is a little scary. She can stand on her own, not just in her crib, but outside of the crib, which means, you know, the, the, the walker that she has has really been working and she's maybe not close, but she's getting ready to start walking within a couple months. She's nine months now. Um, so yeah, she can hold herself up, pull herself up, and stand up in her crib, which as a parent is always nerve wracking because like, you're afraid that they're gonna like jump over the crib. Like I'm even afraid if she, even though she's nine months old now, like I'm even afraid if she flips on her stomach. Like if I look in the camera and she's flipped herself in the stomach at night I'll, or during the day, I'll go in and I'll flip her back on her back because that's what's recommended. But yeah, she's great. She's been teething, and she's still the easiest of my kids with teething, but she's definitely been noticeably grumpy this week because her teeth are coming in. But you know, we use the homeopathic thing, which is hopefully helpful. I don't know. I don't know if any of those homeopathic things really work. Do they? Do they work? I don't know. So yeah, um, yeah, we had a good 4th of July, took the kids on a boat cruise, and that was really nice. Nobody got sick, thankfully. <laughs> uh, my mom's doing well. She's happy for my sister's wedding and doing things with her, being very secretive with me. My sister is not telling me anything. My fitness journey is still 110, or not my fitness journey, but my fitness mission to be even in the best shape possible before Chippendales, that's still happening. And I've actually made a, like a sub, 
actually like a conscious decision to, I'm, like, I'm not even checking the dating site anymore that I was checking for a while now because I'm going to be in Vegas all of August. But it's okay. I don't know. I do believe in the universe. If it's meant to, when it's meant to be, it'll be, and I have no idea how it'll happen. But yeah, I've been super clean with my eating and no drinking, and I've not had a cheat since Mother's Day. Wow. Dedication. Uh, and I love my new thing of only getting eight hours and 15 minutes of sleep on the weekend, if I can even get that much. You know, up until last week, or the weekend before, like, I would allow myself to get like nine and a half, ten, ten hours and fifteen minutes of sleep on the weekend to like make up for the very little sleep during the week. But I was like, you know what? Eight hours and fifteen minutes is all you need. Even if you don't get that much during the week, it's better to spend more time with your kids. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Thank you for watching. You're beautiful. I appreciate you so much. I love all the feedback I get for all my different kinds of videos on this channel. If you're new, thank you. Hit the like, the subscribe button. Follow me. I post videos every day. Follow my main channel, at Perez Hilton. Follow me on Instagram. Leave a comment. Share this video. You know the drill. I love you.